Hey there, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of November 5th through the 12th, 2023, covering spiritual themes, money and material concerns, news from other people, friends, family, contacts, challenges, and love, as we always do. But I figured I'd do something a little bit differently um, and, you know, be more formal and more casual at the same time. And so I'm actually going to take you through my process of charging and blessing and setting everything up and then give you your reading. Don't forget to check out your rising sign for more clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign forecast is showing up. And don't forget to check out your moon sign for the less prominent, albeit still significant, side story that's also playing out throughout the course of the week. So without further ado, let's get down to business. spiritual themes, money material matters, news from friends, family, and contacts, challenges, and love. All right. All right, so this week your big spiritual theme, your big focus is the Nine of Pentacles upright. And so this is a week where you might be in for some surprising payoffs or even early payoffs of recent uh, moves or developments or plans of action that you've taken. The Nine of Pentacles is all about personal success. It's all about being uplifted, even getting a chance to enjoy the spoils of your hard work. But I also feel with the Nine of Pentacles that a lot of this is coming way ahead of schedule in a very good way. The Nine of Pentacles is also indicating a lot of this week is really going to be all about kind of getting you into a space where you're more consistently comfortable and productive, but also, again, well off even in a financial sense. And so you want to make sure that you are moving with these currents, right? Don't try and take these and just kind of go about the way you have, you know, adapt to the changes that are also lifting you up. Don't be the same person you were uh, once all of these things have taken place. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs as it relates to your home and family life, you've got the devil reversed. And so this week, you may find that you are in for a lucky break as some kind of thorn in your side. Uh, whether this is a person, an account, or even just a situation is dissipating. The devil card reversed is all about freedom from an adversarial influence, something that has been bound to us, something that's been attached to us, or something that has been a shadow over one of these spaces in our lives, whether it's financial or your household or your work life, your professional life. With the devil card reversed, this can also be the release of something that has actually been maybe taking time, energy, money off your plate, or maybe even something that has been blocking good things from coming your way. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, other people, right, important contacts and news with them, you've got the five of swords upright. This week, you may still, even though you're having a good week, you may still be in for a bit of a row. I am seeing the potential of a falling out going on with the Five of Swords. This could be something that is going on with not necessarily somebody you would consider to be a friend. 
Um, I'm kind of feeling like this is somebody who thinks they're your friend, but you're not their friend, or they think that you're closer than they really are. And it's possible that you may say or do something that really pisses them off. And yet at the same time, their indignance, their irreverence is completely disproportionate to what kind of relationship you really have. We've all had those kind of moments, right? It kind of, you know, it's, it, kind of makes me think of like obsessed or single white female or all about Eve. Like it's one of those kind of weird situations where somebody that you don't like, who doesn't, who thinks they like you, but they don't know how to behave is acting out. And so you may need to kind of shut one of those situations down. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Knight of Wands upright. Uh, the Knight of Wands upright is not a bad challenge, but this is going to be a week where you need to be ready to be a bit more extroverted, a bit more socially available, a, li a little bit more engaged. The Knight of Wands is indicating that you are becoming a lot more popular or something about you or something that you're doing is gaining a lot of interest and support either publicly from many people or from maybe one or two people that have a lot of power and influence. And you want to make sure that you can lean into it. This may be a week where you need to get an extra cup of coffee. You may need to, you know, make sure you're sleeping okay. But with the Knight of Wands, it's still really, really good. Sometimes the Knight of Wands can show up as a challenge where we need to evolve on something where it's like something that we didn't want to do to succeed, even though it would be good for us. Maybe we just didn't want to do it. We didn't feel like it. We have to be humble and accept that it was a good idea. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Page of Wands upright. And this week, you may be finding that um, you are going to be pursued a bit more intensely by your partner or potentially a new person for those of you who are single or available or a person of interest. The Page of Wands is all about invitations, new sparks getting lit, but also at the same time, um, the inciting of a new playful chapter in your life. Now, the Page of Wands is indicating this could be the start of a new romantic adventure for, again, those of you who are single or available, and the other person will likely be making the first move, or if they're not making the first move, they're making the majority of the moves. And for those of you who are coupled or are married, this is your partner becoming a lot more uh, gregarious, a lot more open, a lot more playful, and maybe even uh, a bit more courageous when it comes to maybe some demonstrations of affection or passion that they've normally kept subdued. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.